All right, Josh is making some pancakes with the Bob's Red Mill. And again, we didn't put in um, chickpea aquafaba. We put in pinto bean aquafaba, and it seems to be working okay. Although we have yes to like really taste them. <laughs> but I think it's fine. And we got our new ceramic pan, and it's working amazing. We are really loving this new pan. I burnt that. That's all right. That's not too bad. Josh, you did such a good job. Yummers. Pure maple syrup. Man, this thing. Mmm. Hey, you guys. Good morning. It's Saturday. No, it's Sunday morning. Usually we do our pancakes on Saturday morning, but I'm going to do them today. If you've been kind of watching me on Snapchat, you might know that I'm not having the best of luck. All my pancakes are edible, but... I keep on, first of all, I'm kind of burning them a little bit. And I thought that that was because they were just so low in fat. And I have noticed that when I try to cut out a little bit more of the flax or whatever that I'm using for a fat, that it definitely burns faster. But I think I'm coming to realize that with banana or with vegan pancakes, um, since they're already so much lower fat anyway, you really need to cook them at a lower temperature. So I'm going to try that out. I find that, of course, we do best with small little kind of thick pancakes. I've heard recently to keep the lid on, so I may try that and see how that helps. And, of course, just flip when they start to bubble. And with my nonstick pan, since we're not using any oil, it's very important to kind of even get a as soon as it, there starts to be a setup on the bottom, not too early of course, but as soon as there starts to be that setup on the bottom, to just go ahead and get under it and make sure that it doesn't form too much of a bond to the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna try a different recipe and I will share with you guys the old recipe if I haven't already. But this recipe is very, very simple and my friend I from Ion Health channel, I on health. Hi. <laughs> he led me to this much more simple. I basically just took a regular pancake recipe and kind of veganized it. I, I love simple. If I can do simple, I'm doing simple. And so I'm going to try this out today. It's more of a kind of free, you know, you just kind of throw stuff together. One banana, ripe bananas, of course. Milk and flour, basically. You do about a cup and a half of flour or so to about two thirds or maybe three fourths a cup of milk and you know you want it to you know you want to get it all incorporated of course but you can kind of add a little bit more flour or more milk of course if you feel the need so that's when I, that's how I'm going to do it and uh, yeah I'll let you guys know how they turn out Where I go to get my fix Let the loving take a hold And it will if you let it I'm funky, not a junkie, but I'm